Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Life in Layouts, and today I have a layout for you using the September 2020 page map sketch. It's a double page layout, and I am going to be using it, but definitely expanding it a little bit. I'm going to be using the Simple Stories collection called Family Fun, and I'm going to be pulling out like the roller skating items. I am doing this layout at a crop so my background is a little bit different so please excuse the differenceness and if I'm not in frame the entire time. So what I decided to do was to make the photos a little bit larger because my photos I just couldn't get them as little as they were in the sketch. And so here I'm laying it out and I did definitely want those four smaller photos down the kind of center of the layout. And because I had to make it a little bit larger, what I decided to do was kind of take my photos as a guide to decide how big I wanted the paper. And the left hand side of the layout, I am making that the same size as the photos are going to be on the right hand side. I also decided to add the border, the stripe border, to make the entire uh, photo line up with the paper. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so once I get all of that down, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the white cardstock. I am going to mat the two photos that are on the left hand side. I'm going to mat them together as if they were one large photo, so they're going to be flush up against each other. These photos are of Eli, uh, this is actually back in 2019, so they're a little bit older. We had gone to this like secondhand children's store and they had these Fisher Price skates and he was all about them. They're the skates that just go over your shoes, like they buckle over your shoes. They're like my first skates from Fisher Price or something like that. So he was super excited and I'm glad that I bought them secondhand because I swear he probably used them twice and then was done with them. Uh, but he got to try them out and see what it was like to skate and we have gone to the skating rink where we've actually rented you know real skates and he's really enjoyed that as well uh, but he definitely enjoyed playing with the skates on the driveway in these photos so I do go ahead and pop up the two photos that are on the left hand side and I do have those four photos there in the center and those are flushed down to the layout and then also the four photos on the right hand side are going to be flush to the layout as well. And then I'm going to add that stripe border to the top and bottom so that when the paper flows across the two pages, it does look like it's the same size with the photos and the striped border. So it just has that kind of probably a half inch border on the top and bottom and then closer to like a one inch border on the left and then there's a large border on the right that I'm going to put some embellishments and things like that in. So I go ahead and pull out the paper and I'm really just looking for anything that has to do with skates and one of the things that I dislike about these collections is that everything is exactly the same. So if you look at all of the skates once I get the layout done they are the exact same skate in different items. So there's the skate in the chipboard, there's the tag, and there's the puffy piece that 3x4 card I don't end up using because it just there was the exact same skate. Like I wish that Echo Park would understand that hmm, maybe I would want the skates to go in two different directions or maybe I want the skates to be different colors. Things like that that just it's just frustrating when you are putting these layouts together and you know that the company could do a lot better. I do enjoy Simple Stories and Echo Park. They do tend to be the companies that I lean towards, but it seems like sometimes it's very frustrating to deal with uh, their inability to pay attention to what we really need. I have started to go a lot more towards Doodlebug. I'm loving them right now and really enjoying them. All right, so I went ahead and used that black, um, it looks like light bulbs. I don't know any other way to explain it, like a billboard that has light bulbs around it. I used that card and I'm gonna put my journaling on it. And then I go ahead and use that Good Times. It has a radio on it, which has nothing to do with what is going on here, but I like that saying. And then right below it, it says, this is how we roll. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the skate to it. I will end up changing that up a little bit because I want to get the skate to fit right with the, the card. And I'm looking for something to fit in that space between the tag that says this is how we roll and the good times. 
and I actually end up moving it over because I can't figure out a way to put the space or put something in that space. But I'm going to look through everything that I have to try to figure it out. This is one of those collections that I was really excited to get, but then once I got it, realized that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be and was kind of disappointed in that because I thought it was going to be more centered around different games and things like that where it just isn't. Uh, it turns out to be a cute collection but it's not what I'm going to be using it for. So I went ahead and put the skate down and then the arrow puffy sticker right next to it and that's going to finish out that cluster there. Up at the top I'm going to start with my cluster there and I'm going to use the tag that says let's roll with the skate on it and then the little banner there that says so much fun and an arrow and then I'm going to connect the two roller skates with that checkered flag piece as well. And as I'm putting all that down, I want to uh, just give you guys an update on myself. Uh, it, you know, it's been a while since I have posted anything. Um, it's just been crazy. Life has just been crazy. I'm trying to get back into scrapbooking. I haven't been really scrapbooking a lot. I have signed up for a couple of crops and I'm thinking about doing some vlogging type post while I'm there at the crop. I don't intend to actually film while I'm there um, because what I plan to do is not really film worthy. I need to focus on getting some photos developed and it is an overwhelming daunting task at the moment. And then also my watch hours if you know anything about YouTube and creating and things like that. My watch hours are extremely low right now, obviously because I haven't been posting. And so because of that, I have a lot of restrictions as if I'm a brand new creator on YouTube. And so if you would like to help out, I would greatly appreciate if you could go back and maybe watch some of my older videos to bring up my watch hours, which will help me in the end be able to create more and things like that because I can't do it right now because YouTube is restricting me because of the lack of content that I put out, which is then just a vicious cycle because I don't want to put out more content because I'm restricted. It's just a whole mess. Um, if you would like to help me out and you would like to see more content from me, if you could go back and watch some of my older videos, I have a ton of content on here and uh, that would help me out a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put down this title. I went ahead and used foam strips to put in roller skating and then the word fun is in the chipboard pieces so my title is roller skating fun so here is my final layout as well as some close-ups i hope to uh, provide you guys some more content this year in 2024 uh, i know that i've been slacking and i am really trying to figure out a way to get back into it all and get back to posting because i really do enjoy being in my scrapbook room actually creating things so i hope that i can do that more for you guys this year so feel free to leave me a comment below on anything that you would like to see or any way that you think would help me get out of this funk and actually start posting again all right, guys, I hope that you have a scrappy day.